it is very exciting. I'm not sure there are that many people doing the sort of stuff we're doing out there in the world. So this hangar over here, this hangar 86, is completely full of engineers working on wearables. In this building, we're focused on robotics. There's a big future in robotics. It's saving people time, performing chores for people, and improving people's daily lives. I mean, I'm a parent. I've spent half my life cleaning up after my kids, and it's, it's pretty tedious. We've been working for about 20 years now on floor care robots which are puck format robots. And ours really do vacuum, by the way. But aside to that, we've also been doing a lot of research into robotics, which no one's aware of. So for the last 10 years, we've been sponsoring the Imperial College. So actually the work that's going on in these PhDs is ripe right now. So we're um, setting up a robotics tech office in London, as well as Singapore uh, and here. So between the four locations, in effect, bringing everything a bit closer into the live projects we're working on. The, the subject, what you're actually developing, accounts an awful lot in terms of excitement and attracting engineers. The tricky thing is that we can't overtly go out there in the world and say, hey, this is what we're doing, because it's very top secret. This is why we want to reveal a little bit more to the world. We're after 700 engineers in robotics. That's what we're looking for, to, to work on the brain robot brain, essentially. We're you know, a, a small team of experts doing big things. Um, we can get there, but we need more people. Now, it's a bit hard for me to climb over. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> so it's basically deploying advanced robots in household environments for mapping the environments, understanding the structure of the household. I was a bit shaky when I come in here, but we call this an arm room. And it needs to be as compliant as possible and safe in a home environment. Is it able to take impacts like this? We're trying to achieve something that's very, very complex that no one has achieved so far. Over here uh, is a very, very exciting rig. So what this arm is doing is it's able to map that chair. So for oh, again, not. <laughs> ever. So you're coming in here. So this, this lab is the perception lab. This is all about the brain about the vision systems, how the robot is interpreting the environment through sensors, cameras, thermal imaging, being able to map humans and navigate through the world. But there's also things we're learning that we can feed back into uh, the other products and the other categories to enhance their functionality and performance for consumers. One of the very exciting things about robots, as with wearables, is they are the future of Dyson. Uh, we're looking forward to a 10-year lens and further um, we've always done that. We've always invested in the future with the digital motors, with batteries, and knowing what we want to invest in and drive towards.